Oh, I guess it's probably getting close to time for a new part, isn't it? Well, I'm not going to make the transition like this. If I do cut it here, you know, great, see you next time. If I don't, I'll just keep playing, I guess. But I, I don't think I'm going to cut it there. So we're at Chapter 6, which is The Fall. And as you can see, Gladys is next to us. And I'm being quiet because I love this dialogue, by the way. Yep, that's what I do. Good, that's still working. Hey, just in case I'm like an American citizen. I repeated the elect morons into position of positions of power. Wait, what? Anyway. Just um, in case you're wondering, I actually am an American citizen, and no, I have never voted for president, not because I didn't want to, but because in the election of 2008, I was not eligible to vote for president. So... Yeah, missed it by about a year, actually. I did vote in the 2010 um, congressional vote, but I live in a pretty darn secure congressional district, actually, that always goes about 70-30. Um, in case you want to know my exact location, I live in the congressional district that belongs to the current Speaker of the House. So there you go. Now you've got where I live, narrowed down to like a 20-mile radius. If you're clever. So, um, yeah. And as you can see, there's Gladys and a bird. And something. And this is almost like something out of Half-Life 2. I'm just, um, which actually, I'm just so impressed with how far the Source engine has been able to be carried. Like, it's like a two-generation old engine. Like, they had it when the N64 was the current big system and it is still kicking and that is just so awesome but um as you can see it looks like we're just kind of trudging through a sewer line or something like that and well that's pretty much it this wall is shootable i'm gonna go ahead and shoot there that was a good idea basically the game changes dramatically from here on out so um basically if you get lost, just look for shootable walls and shoot them. That, that's kind of all you can do at this point in the game. Because um, you're not really in the facility anymore. It's just you and your portal gun. And you can only access areas that you can either walk or portal to. And that's it. So... If you can't shoot a portal somewhere, you probably can't get there. Can I shoot there? No. I can, however, shoot there, so I'm going to do that, and this part is really hard your first time through the game, because it's just, if you've only played the first portal, you're not used to these types of areas, because, I mean, you never go outdoors in the first portal, except for in a non-played cutscene at the very end of the game, but, um, this sign says do not enter. And of course that means continue walking, so let's, well, continue walking. But, um, I guess since nothing's really happening in the game, this is as much of an opportune moment as any to, um, discuss potential candidates for my next Let's Play. Um, I've definitely considered Zelda 1, um, for the original Nintendo, of course. Um... Once I beat Zelda, once I know I can beat Zelda 2, I might consider that because it's a really I think it's a really great game actually. A lot of people hate it. Um Super Mario Brothers 1, 2 and 3, of course. I have all those on the original hardware. You know, um I don't even know what my next let's play after this will be. I think it's probably going to be something on the NES. Um I'm going to be blatantly honest. I'm sorry for anyone I disappoint, but um I'm not going to be finishing Ocarina of Time. I, I'm just not going to do it. Um, I'm probably going to end up pulling those videos. If I haven't already, I might have already done that. 
Um, because I don't want to leave an incomplete Let's Play on my channel. So, um, I mean, I have actually... My channel has had one incomplete Let's Play before. I would bet 99 to 100% of you have never seen one part of it, but I actually did originally. My very first Let's Play was Pokemon Red. That never ended up getting finished, though, so... You know. Um, I honestly really don't remember what to do here. I know it just seems obvious to me you're probably supposed to go this way because of the do not enter signs. That just, you know, tells me that it has to be... Ah, what have we here? Is that shootable? Is this? No. That is pretty sneaky, Valve. Pretty sneaky. And that is why it took me so long. It's really well hidden way up top, somewhere you're not really probably going to look. But, um, yeah, that that's all you can do so far, is just look for places that you can shoot a portal, and that you haven't shot a portal. So, if we go back this way, there's that grate, and, you know, I guess we probably could have reached that wall if we tried hard enough, but... I'm not going to try it. I'm just going to keep going where it says do not enter and keep out. Because signs that say keep out mean keep going, right? That's what I always thought. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's saving the game. That means I'm going the right way. Just, you know, fun fact. Anyway, um, yeah. From a, this point out, I know of a few trophies that I haven't gotten, so you might actually get to see me blip some trophies. There's a lever here, you pull it, it opens the door. Pretty simple stuff. If you've played Half-Life, you've seen it before. And this is a big old vault door. So what do we need to do? Well, first I need to shoot that wall. And I'd like to get up there if possible. But I don't know how possible that is. Oh yeah, I remember this part. Okay. This ain't bad. Basically, what you need to do is when you press that button, you'll see that the first digit of that countdown starts counting down. What you need is to get both digits counting down at the same time. And if you can press both buttons, if you press one button and you manage to press the other before the countdown runs out, this will trigger, and it starts the process of opening that big ol' vault door. And inside that big ol' vault door is a whole new world of magic and wonder. Or something. I don't know. Probably just a bunch of LSD and sideburns, actually. Oh wait, that's 1975. That's a magical world of LSD and sideburns. Actually, 1975 is pretty close to where we'll be going, so, you know, that that's pretty cool. Anyway, I think you can go up this staircase to get there, if I remember correctly. Yep, that, that would be right. And then you turn around and go up this one, which the gate finally opened. And just like that, we are one doorway away from a whole new area. And let me guess, loading screen? Oh, who was right? New loading screen, though. So where are we at? 33 minutes. I'm at about three videos. I'm going to keep going. I'm having fun.